no. This is why I don't wash engines. This is why I don't wash engines. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Wash and Rebuilds. We are trying to wrap up the last little bit of work that I need to do to the Dodge Ram 1500 Sport before sending it to auction. We had a lot of plans with getting uh, the Ram painted, the new headlights and corner lights. We already put the new wheels and the new tires on it. We replaced a uh, tensioner pulley because it squeaks. We fixed some wiring issues and we've got it to where it runs and drives great. Cold air conditioning, hot heat. We replaced the leaking radiator. That thing was a bear. We did the rear brake shoes and wheel cylinders as well. Bled all of the brakes, got the brakes working as well. And we still have one. Oh, we also uh, put a dash cap on the dashboard. There's one thing left before I send it to auction. Like I said, I had planned on taking it off to paint, but you know, life happens, things change. And I decided while I have to go take a trip over to Oregon and deal with some stuff over there and down in Dallas also, uh, while I was gone, I was just gonna go ahead and turn these cars, trucks, etc., into money so that when I get back from my trip, there should be a nice stack of cash waiting for me when I get home. So the Ram will be going up for sale. For those of you that have been interested in it, the 1999 Dodge Ram is going to be heading to auction very, very soon, and she is in pretty good shape. We have one small issue remaining. Now, I went ahead and pulled off this belt, and I've pulled off the idler pulley. Um, those are the last two things that I can think of that are squeaking. And if you take a look at this idler pulley, she's not exactly in the best of shape. She's got crap, just like rubber material from belts all over it, stuck to it. It rattles when you take this uh, bolt out, it rattles, the bearings rattling. So I went ahead and pulled it off and uh, we're gonna go ahead and knock this out and I'm gonna hope that this fixes the issue. We've got a new Dayco belt. Um, and we've got a new idler pulley, both of these from my local Advance Auto Parts. And instead of fighting with this on camera, I'm just gonna take it out of the package and we'll come back. And there you have it. Old on the right, new on the left with a new belt. This is fairly simple and straightforward. Bolt goes through here and you just come over here. We turn on a little light so you guys can see. There we go. And we just, uh, oh, where the hell did it go? Somewhere right in here, oh, right by the fan. There we go. This is where she goes right here. Oops, let's try not to drop her here. Thankfully, uh, we've got no overheating issues with this truck at all. Just an annoying little squeaky, squeaky belt. And I've already checked like the alternator. No squeal, no noise. Same thing from the air conditioning. And obviously we already replaced the tensioner and the water pump, you can spin that. No noise from anything. So I am 99.9% .9 certain it is going to be that idler pulley and or the belt. Now it is of the utmost importance that you torque these to spec, all right? You don't wanna crush the bearing and you don't wanna leave it too loose. So we're gonna torque it with this specialty torque wrench that I've got here to about 180 foot pounds of torque, uh, maybe 195. Yeah, I'd say about 195 foot pounds and we should be good. Next, we're gonna feed our belt in from the uh, driver's side. We wanna shove it through in between the air compressor and the uh, clutch fan pulley right there. And now that we got that done, we got our new belt installed. It's real nice that they give you a, uh, a little diagram right here. That's very cool of them, helps a lot. We should be able to uh, fire it up. And I'm gonna cross my fingers and I hope you guys do the same. And let's hope she doesn't squeal. Ha! Oh. It doesn't squeal, <laughs> but I must have hit a vacuum hose or something under here because she is idled up way, 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 way too high. All right, let's try it now. There we go. 
island a tad bit rough. We'll see if that cleans itself up here in just a minute. Take a look at that dash pad cover right there. No more broken dash. Looks nice. Air conditioning is still ice cold. It was ice cold when we got it. Yeah, she's running much better now. Much, much better. Take a look at that new belt. And no squeal. Believe it or not, that stupid little squealing belt could be the difference between it bringing an extra $500 or not at the auction. Take a listen to this old girl run right now. Listen to her. Perfectly quiet. She is quiet. She's content. This is a happy truck. Ugh. <laughs> well, good to see the ABS and brake light come back on. That's very intermittent. Sometimes they come on. Most of the time they're off. I'm really surprised to see them back on again. Very, very intermittent. I say let's take it out for a quick drive. Make sure everything is still good on it. And we'll button it up. And I'll say that this one is ready to go to insurance auto auctions as well. All right, let's take her for a spin. Oh, oh yes. Woo! Woo! <laughs> yeah, mama. <laughs> Son, let's roll these windows up. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that 5.9 liter, 360 cubic inch V8 moves, man. Especially for a truck. Like I said, those uh, ABS light and brake light, they just they come on simultaneously and totally randomly. Um, this is the longest they've been on since I actually put the truck back together and fixed it. Let's listen to that purr one more time. Woo! She's a beast. She's a beast. <laughs> oh, man. Want to make sure you guys can see we got no check engine lights or nothing like that. You can see she comes to a stop easily. Listen to her purr. Transmission shifts flawless. She drives smooth as silk, man. I mean, super smooth with those new tires and wheels. All right, well, old girl, it's time to say goodbye to you. I'm gonna be out of here in a few days, guys. I gotta get out of town. And uh, unfortunately, some of these cars need to be gone when I get back. And I think that includes the Pontiac GTO. Hmm. I got to be honest with you. The GTO, I think, hurts worse than the rest of them. I've always wanted a GTO. I finally have a GTO. And almost as soon as I get it, I got to get rid of it. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I won't. I'll, I'll think about it. I'll, I'll definitely send the GTO to insurance auto auctions, but if it doesn't go for what I'm looking to get out of it, uh, I might just go ahead and hold on to that one. I really might just go ahead and hold on to that one. That's one of those cars that's going to be hard to come across another one for that price. In fact, it'll be dang near impossible to come up with another GTO stick shift for five grand. It, it just doesn't happen. Woo! 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 Alright. <laughs> Enough playing around. Let's get back to the house. Well, she made it back. I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up real quick, see if those lights return. Okay, now they're off. All right, one more time.
Okay, now they're off. <laughs> hey, it's an old truck, man. It is. Mileage is currently at 126, 345. Ice cold air, factory radio. All works. Heated mirrors works. The cup. Well, <laughs> uh, the cup holders will work. You just gotta, you gotta, you gotta put this thing back in. Damn it! I'll do that. <laughs> I'll fix that again here in just a minute. All of the lights, signals, heat, air conditioning, cigarette lighter. Uh, you even get a cigarette butt in there, I guess, man. Comes with it. You got a power outlet down here as well. Um, she's a good old truck, man. She is. She's a good old truck. Oh, yeah, that's warm. You couldn't see it, but that's warm. I don't know, man. I don't know what to expect it to bring at auction, but we're definitely going to send this bad boy to insurance. Oh, yeah. Uh, cruise control works as well. We're definitely going to send this to insurance auto auctions, and I'll have to do a separate video with the lot number, stock number, and all that stuff. Power mirrors work. Power windows work. Power door locks work. It's got the key to the ignition, key to the locks, all of that stuff. So, um, really, you should just be able to jump in this thing and drive, guys. There's no reason you can't. Brand new tires on it, so you should be able to jump in it and go pretty much anywhere you want to go. I would trust it. I put over 200 miles on it myself, and she's a getter, man. She's a getter. She'll get it done. There you go. All right. I can't guarantee that's going to stay. But as of the making of this video, there you go. All right, it's a brand new day. Well, that's a lie. It's not a brand new day. It's the very end of a brand new day. And uh, I gotta give a shout out to ba -ba -dum, Super Clean, the star of this portion of the video. Not sponsored, but they do send me this stuff and tell me to use it. And uh, I gotta tell you, it's good stuff, man. We're gonna show you right now, as you can see, this engine is nasty. I mean, it is absolutely filthy. And we're just gonna spray on. This is some of their, their new stuff, I think. It's like a really super duper degreaser here. And I'm just gonna kinda spray liberally, man. Hit them up, every bit of it. All, all down in here, all over here. Ugh, look how nasty all this is, man. Just uh, spray the living heck out of it. Ooh, don't breathe that. Ooh, ooh. Oh, wow. It actually smells kind of good, but that's strong. Your body will tell you real quick that you ain't supposed to be breathing that in. Your body's going to let you know that is not meant to be inhaled. Don't do it. Try to, try to clean this up because what it looks like from all the orange all over, it looks like it's been overheated. And the truth of the matter is, I never got it hot. It, it never overheated. It just, uh, unfortunately, was losing coolant and it was spewing all over the engine. So it makes it look like, you know, it's been severely overheated. And that's just not the case. It gives the truck a bad look, therefore makes it a little more difficult to sell. There we go, that looks nice. Go ahead and clean this battery up too while we're at it, right? try to make her look as good as we can all right I think that's about a uh, about as good as she's gonna get I guess we could hit it up here too since you could clearly see it was leaking up there look at that yeah you can clearly see it was leaking up there we want all that to go away we want it to look clean because obviously she doesn't leak anymore she did but that problem has been resolved and I don't want anybody coming out to look at it and being scared of. This is not a truck you gotta be scared of. This thing is in great shape. It really is. It still has the stickers on the frame and everything uh, from when it was new and freshly manufactured. She's a good truck. She's a real good truck. So we don't wanna, we don't wanna scare people away from it when they see uh, some crap all over it clean that up real good make sure we get those valve covers as far as oil and stuff goes there's no oil on this thing she doesn't leak a drop this little can goes a long way i'm doing this like real time with you guys so you can see it this little bitty can goes a really 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 long way i expect it to run out by now 
Try to get down there on that pulley a little bit, power steering pump pulley. All right, it is about time to throw some uh, high pressure water on this bad boy. So let's do it. See what she looks like when we're done. All right, we're gonna try our best to avoid the distributor at all costs. You don't wanna hit the distributor. And this one does have one. So stay away from the distributor. Switch hands here, hold on. I'm wearing my hands out. Oh wow, look at that. That is some of that mud off. Let me finish this up guys, we'll come back when we're done. Now as you guys know, I don't typically wash engines. I, f I almost feel like when you wash an engine, you're kind of cheating. You know what I mean? Like you're not showing the true history of the vehicle when you clean the engine to make it look brand new. All right, but I've had about 9 million of you comment and ask me, please power wash the engine of this truck. And I decided fine, against my better judgment, I'll go ahead and do it and look at it. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it came out looking great. She looks phenomenal. The real question though, is will it run? Uh, I tried my best to avoid that distributor cap. I also sprayed out the bed. As you can see the bed looks real good now. Wash the truck down as well. She looks pretty dang good. <laughs> Will it run? Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, this is why I don't wash engines. This is why I don't wash engines right here. <sighs> here we go. Nope. Oh boy, this is fun. Well, I can definitely tell you this, she's pissed, she's not happy, not in the slightest. This truck is real pissed off right now. Uh, this is what I get for listening to people. 
don't wash engines with a distributor cap especially one that's got a distributor cap buried on the back side of the motor where it's next to impossible to get to all right well the good news is she made it home we don't have any warning lights she's running perfect <laughs> for now she's running perfect for now um good lord that scared me i'm not gonna lie guys it took me several minutes sitting there because i can't get to the uh the distributor on this i can't get to it it's all the way in the, i mean if i climbed over the truck i could probably get to it i also have no tools and i was nowhere near the house so it left me in a pretty bad situation just now and i knew better that's the thing i knew better i knew better anyway uh well you can't see hell it's already getting dark we got the jeep we got the cavalier um we'll come back in another video and we'll just come out and start and drive each one of these the truck though i've already got a stock number on it so uh, i'm not going to give it to you yet i'm going to wait till they pick it up um once they pick it up uh this thing should be going in the auction i'm going to guess a week from this wednesday so well to give you a better idea hold on let, let me help you out with that because that doesn't that doesn't really do anything for you today the day of recording is june 7th so the 9th will be the first auction but the truck will not be in it so a week from the 9th that's the 16th i'm going to assume this truck and this el camino over here should both be in the auction on the 16th uh that's just a guess but i'm going to say that's a pretty educated guess it's very very excuse me hiccups very good possibility probability that both of these will be in the oklahoma city auction on the date of the 16th i want to show you guys something watch this you, you see i haven't been home listen to that listen to that i mean since i fixed that rocker she fires up like that I mean, this thing is running cherry right now. I wouldn't say mint exactly, but she is running absolutely great. So is the truck. So bye-bye. I'm going to turn him into money. Look at those yellow headlights. When's the last time you seen headlights at yellow, right? Come on, man. There's something about it. There's something about it. Guys, that is going to conclude this video. I hope you enjoyed the content. Definitely hit the thumbs up button if you did. And if you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Auto Auction, Rebuild. Subscribe to the channel if you're not currently subscribed. And hey, if you know somebody that might like this video, you know somebody might be interested in that 1999 Dodge Ram 1500 Sport or the 1974 Chevy El Camino, definitely share this video, man. Share this video in some of your local car groups or whatever. I will have links to these in the future, so stay tuned. That's why you gotta be subscribed because if you're interested in this El Camino or that Ram truck or any of the cars the gto is going to be going up for sale at auction here soon too you got to be subscribed to the channel because i do a dedicated video for each car meaning when the el camino goes to auction i'm going to do a video right then and there it's going to be uploaded immediately and who knows if they pick it up a day or two before the auction you may not get very much notice so you need to be subscribed to the channel so that when that video goes live you can look at it and go boom i'm on it I've got that car on my watch list and you have the opportunity to bid on it. So click the subscribe button, stay up to date on what's going on with these cars. Till next time, folks, stay safe out there. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.